For part two of this series, we're going to configure the comet settings. Click the settings tab at the top. We're going to configure the network settings first. Note that if you change the Ethernet network from the default two switch ports to two separate ports, the COMEX reboots. Here we're configuring Ethernet port 1 to have a static IP address. Configure the default gateway and primary DNS server settings. And click Save Changes. Again, if you're switching the Ethernet network settings, you may experience a reboot. Now we're going to continue configuring the COMEX general settings. We're going to start with the date and time settings. Choose your time zone, whether or not you want SMTP support, and click Save Changes. If you need to configure proxy settings, do that now. Click Schneider Electric Services. If you're publishing to a Schneider hosted platform, such as Facility Advisor, click Yes to enable the connection. Then save changes. If you're publishing data using SMTP or sending email on event, enter email recipients in contact management. and configure the SMTP server connection and email settings. I'm going to enable the SMTP server and enter the server address. Note that the from address must be a valid email address, otherwise emails may not be delivered. Finally, enter a recipient address for test. And click Send Test Email. Skip to Site Settings. Click Site Information and enter a site name. Click Save Changes and click Data Logging. Choose your country for predefined intervals. You can also edit intervals per commodity. Note that logging too many topics per interval may affect comics performance, including degraded web page response and missed logging intervals. Next, we're going to go to communication settings. If required by the site architecture, configure the Modbus gateway settings, Modbus TCP IP filtering, and advanced Ethernet settings.
You can use Modbus TCP IP filtering to minimize the number of IP addresses that can access the COMEX and its downstream devices. This helps reduce the likelihood of unauthorized intrusion. We're going to enable filtering. Change access for this device to full. And set access for all other devices to none. Next, verify the Modbus serial settings correspond to the meters connected to the Comic serial port. If Zigbee devices are included in the architecture, activate Zigbee and create a new Zigbee network. Select the transmission power based on the location of the Zigbee dongle. Additional options include certificate and port management in the security subtab, user management for controlling access to the COMEX, event setup, and custom web page management. Refer to the user manual for more information on these topics. Next, you're ready to configure the connected devices. For more information, visit our website anytime at www.schneider-electric.com. Thanks for watching.